hi I am Florida native if you're new to my channel I am here to uplift and guide and inspire those who want to get on the spiritual path and I just want to say hello hopefully everyone had a wonderful day I have my water back there I had a long day I actually went to um, a really long walk went hiking out in the middle of a in the forest I went with a friend and um, we just had a really nice chat and um, I just wanted to expound on the idea that we we discussed uh, about spiritual awakening and I am here to let you know that you are not imagining things and sometimes these spiritual awakenings what people are having um, these spiritual experiences um, those that are possibly going through some rough patches which is natural and a lot of times you feel maybe misaligned with your body and some of the feelings and emotions that is in you and surround you and this could also affect how you feel about others and how you think those people feel about you and that's what's so important about um, recognizing whether we are having this spiritual awakening um, or not uh, a lot of people are dealing with and let me adjust my camera a little bit there we go yeah sorry um, some people are having their first spiritual awakening or they're getting on that path and it can be a little bit uncomfortable to say the least um, sometimes you get a little tired um, especially if a lot of people have experienced like something really traumatic and of course I'm not a medical profession if you are experiencing anxiety and things that that upset you of course um, if you feel the need or you're really struggling with whatever is happening to you please seek medical attention or possibly go to a therapist or find somewhere where you can actually get some um, mental help um, again but what I'm talking about is your spiritual awakening we are in this human body but we are also very much spirit we are very much that and probably in equal parts or hopefully we have that balance but a lot of you are going through a spiritual awakening which can be very profound and a little bit disconnecting uh, meaning that you just don't feel grounded in your body sometimes you feel outside of your body at, at times and this could be very disturbing and again um, you know there is a difference between you know real stress and of course stress can come with the spiritual awakening and some people think that um, a spiritual awakening is always going to be this magnificent wonderful spiritual all loving thing and even though that is what we truly are a lot of the times the spiritual awakening occurs when we do have traumatic traumatic events um, heartbreaks breakups divorces getting fired from your job um, when major changes in your life happen you have betrayals you have uh, possibly people that are um, you feel that are attacking you um, and we are going to discuss about discuss things about what we are attracting in our life because what we realize what we're attracting and this is also about accountability um, a lot of times with these events that are so life-changing um, it opens up um, a space inside us where we are more aware of the fact that we are we're much more 
than our physical body. We're much more than our job and uh, who people think we are. We're much more than our personality um, and our habits and you know our beliefs. We are much more than that. And there are so many factors and so many ways people are ignited or they um, could be spontaneous. There goes a little spirit. Sometimes you'll see white things float. I do protect and I do say prayers prior to my messages. Um, again, if you're new to my channel, I discuss a lot of spiritual topics um, that possibly you've heard before, but you're I'm delivering it in a different way and maybe you're more receptive to others perhaps you're receptive to my messages from spirit in the way and my style so there's plenty of information online there's plenty of youtubers that discuss their own personal spiritual awakening I discuss um, and I've mentioned before I had a profound spiritual awakening at the age of 25 when I had open heart surgery I was very sick for a year and um, I've been I've touched on it a little bit but I never really talked about um, everything that occurred because there was so much that occurred and the time was um, very difficult to explain as far as the concept of time during my near-death experience so I just want to put that out there some of you are feeling as if time is going by so slowly and some of you are feeling like time is just dragging so of course and some of you feel that time is non-existent or in slow motion so something that maybe occurred a month ago could feel to you like it's been a lifetime ago if that makes sense if that makes sense to you you possibly can be opening up to your spiritual world you're having a spiritual awakening meaning that you realize that we are more than physical I'm going to drink some water this helps me connect with spirit a lot better today I didn't have much to eat um, I did eat some chocolates just now because I was that heady today you know I was very much in um, in a different space where I didn't feel connected so I did take probably I, I can imagine probably at least I, I don't know I I think I walked from basically 12 o'clock with some breaks till to about seven o'clock today so I I, w I really grounded myself and of course I enjoyed conversations with my friend but we were in the middle literally in the middle of a forest um, of course it was paved and safe there was actually policemen out there they're exercising and riding their bikes um, it was a very safe area but people were out and about you know and I could feel um, that a lot of them a lot of the people that were out in nature I could feel the heaviness so a lot of people use that beauty that environment of nature in order to work out some things to transmute some emotions um, and deal with certain situations possibly difficult um, in their lives by going hiking or taking a long bike ride through the forest um, and we're so fortunate in Florida to have an abundance of nature where we can go out and really be amongst the trees and be amongst like the wildlife and greenery and, and right now we're having beautiful weather it's not too hot it's not, it hasn't hit the humid point here in Florida but it's really a great time and if your weather permits it for right now I really encourage that I really encourage um, you go out in nature to help heal because with the healing um, the healing is part of your spiritual awakening uh, and it is at least what I've um, seen 
or experienced in my life, it's not um, it's not exactly pleasant as you would quite you would imagine. Uh, and again, those who are going through some things and maybe feeling out of sorts, that's kind of the best way I could say it. Um, whether it be uh, some people say headaches, I don't really get headaches, but it, it can be very draining, you can feel tired, um, of course rest if you're tired, but today um, I, I decided to fight my urge to want to be indoors and, and read, I wanted to take advantage of the beautiful weather today, and um, I'm very glad I did, it was, it was great for the body. It balances because we do need to balance the physical and the spiritual and the emotional and the mental and that is going to help you as you move through this spiritual awakening and this um, so for some of you a very difficult very traumatic time um, a lot of times we have spiritual awakenings just for that because we have gone through a very difficult cycle of our lives we are moving people out um, of our lives we are being left out of other people's lives we are losing a lot of um, so-called friends we might be disconnecting from certain family members we might be leaving uh, uh, you know whatever applies to you person place or thing we might be um, breaking friendships we might be discovering things about people, what we thought we knew about someone or something or your situation and spirit reveals the truth about, you know, a, a certain, yeah, a certain yeah, a certain incident or certain incidences in your life that perhaps you um, were blind to. So I, I do not take this lightly. I am not downplaying um, the pain and the true sorrow and the true hurt and possibly betrayal and lies and um, manipulation. I do not downplay that and usually um, if spirit can see that because they see everything on the other side they feel you know God feels everything that you are going through and depending on everybody's uh, timeline whatever timeline you are because we are I explained a little bit about timelines in my last video and there's plenty of information out there on timelines but basically it is potential paths that you can take um, in life because we all have free will and um, and the tricky thing is sometimes we can't discern which path to take and a lot of us feel stuck um, as if time is going going either too slow and things aren't happening for you that you expect it to help happen to you or expect a situation to move through or you you, um, you know you went through a, a very difficult situation in matters of the heart where you feel that you should have healed by now. What Spirit is saying is don't judge judge the timing because a lot of you um, have gone through some pretty horrific things. So having that patience and not really focusing on where you're going um, because sometimes you need to understand and process the information on your journey on yes on that on that journey that you're taking so that you could recognize and remember the feelings that were evoked from you during this time of your spiritual awakening and again I really want to emphasize that most spiritual awakenings and um, perhaps your situation is different but most spiritual awakenings are very painful events very eye-opening events very um, difficult events especially when it deals with uh, 
uh, your way of thinking, your way of thought. Because a lot of times with the spiritual awakening, everything that you thought you knew to be true, sometimes, is turned upside down. And you could apply it to your own life. Um, but a lot of times your, your, your life is turned upside down and you look at it like a mess and you're not where you thought you would be at a certain time in your life. Perhaps you thought that you would be married and have children or you would have this type of job or you would have this type of house in this certain area. Um, you know, whatever that means for you. That those are things that can affect on uh, you on your lessons on the lessons and moving through and with God and your spiritual team through this thing we call life and your spiritual journey. So spirit is emphasizing that you need to try to be patient with yourself and continue to love yourself and continue to forgive. The things that you perceive as um, things that you might need to take accountability for, allowing, allowing, that's a big thing, is about accountability as well during your spiritual awakening. Because in some way, fashion, or form, your energy, the energy that you put out, was attracting equal energies as well and could have played a part in what has occurred recently or in the past or something that you're going through right now. Again, spirit is not judging. Uh, everybody, again, is on different timelines. It's about really accepting where you are, how to move forward with the help of God and with the help of your deep faith and trust in your Creator that you will be able to move through this cycle and remove, move through any traumas and move through any triggers that you could possibly have in regards to your particular situation. Some of you right now are being asked to stay silent, to go within. Try something new, perhaps meditation for some of you. This is another confirmation. And meditation, like I've said in the past, can be something as simple as walking through the forest or walking on a path or going hiking or biking or just getting out in nature and separating yourself uh, from 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 the overwhelming emotions that occur or that can occur or that do occur during during this process of spiritual awakening and like I said, I'm going to reiterate, spiritual awakenings or what leads up to having a spiritual awakening, some of those circumstances can be horrific and really traumatizing and really difficult. And um, I do suggest that if you are, um, I'm not a medical doctor, so I don't, you know, put labels on, on these things. It's up to you to discern whether you need to seek medical help or not, and uh, or therapy. <clears throat> and sometimes, um, you know, that that might be the case. Um, or find some support group. Again, I am not in the medical field, and I do not give advice. So we all have free will, and if that's um, So spirit says, you'll know, you'll know, okay? And so they are saying they're always available 
24-7. They're there to help guide you during, during this time and they want to encourage you to, to communicate with them with God. We all have spirit guides, we all have angels, we all have we have spiritual help and as many and as much as as we we would like. Um, and if we feel that we feel if we feel that we have lower energies, we have that free will also to pray and ask God to take those energies out of your your space, out of your mind, out of your um, environment, um, and with good intentions, with with love, and um, and protect you from negative energies, any energies that are not for your highest good. So. Again, we use a lot of our intuition for that. Uh, some situations, if you're uh, you're in a situation where I'm hearing uh, in the middle of an argument, you're someone else is trying to have you engage with them for their own selfish purposes. They're saying God gave you two feet. You know, if you're able to move away. From that energy and set up boundaries in order for you to grow in your spirit on your spiritual path during the spiritual awakening that is what they're guiding you to do of course again you have free will um, and you can do whatever you want but And for some of you, you are hearing this guidance very clearly, and sometimes you hear it like near you, around, you hear hearing, you're using the clear audience, or your gift of clear audience is very strong. Some of, some, for some of you, it's a clear knowing, you just know it in your gut. Um, but know that spirit is there to help. So, excuse me. I wanted to make this really short and sweet. I know I didn't touch on the depth of different situations. Um, but again, everyone is different. A spiritual awakening is very personal for everyone. If you have specific questions about, like, what you're going through um, you could write it on the comments below that your comments also help others that are going through this um, these energies because there's so many different energies um, that are around you when you go through a spiritual awakening and a lot of these energies because emotions are being brought to the surface it could be difficult on which direction to go so dealing with these surface these emotions that basically bubble up and come out of you and like we could have times where we are angry or we're you know sad or disappointed or you know we have um, certain situations that are revelatory either by be by any of your spiritual gifts that's how you are uncovering some truths possibly about the person place or thing that you're dealing with or about yourself and a lot of you are actually um, going through a spiritual awakening and also burning off the karma so it's a double-edged sword really because part of this difficult time is that possibly things that we've needed to balance out that happened in the past 
and possibly things that need to be balanced out that happened in past lives possibly um, that could be coupled with the spiritual awakening and with the karma that you're receiving so again God doesn't give you more than you can handle um, everything's given to you at the right time at the right divine time um, and in the way that spirit sees fit for you to learn your lessons and again um, karma could be is neutral it could be good karma it could be bad karma it all depends on what you have consistently put out in the world how you affect other people how you have moved through the challenges that you face in life and um, there's also situations where you've burned off karma and created other karma that perhaps now or or in the past you have felt the the chaos and the and, and all the emotions that have gone with really um, of this balancing out of energies Whew, that's a lot I know it's that's a lot of information but spirit definitely wants me to emphasize that that there is a reason for everything and although some of you aren't willing to accept that it is a truth there's a reason for everything it's up to you to find that meaning and to use that information in order you, for you to grow on your spiritual path and to see where you want to go in your spiritual on your spiritual journey and what you want to create for yourself now as you move and you're on your spiritual path you're having your strip spiritual awakening and how you want to um, how you want to move and how you want to create your future moving forward so some of you are looking to understand what's going on with you and a lot of you will notice that during the spiritual awakening a lot of your spiritual gifts whether it be your psychic abilities your mediumship uh, your clairaudience your clairvoyance your clairsentience your uh, claircognizance maybe some of your smelling things like clairgustance I believe that's what it's called um, any of those metaphysical which is more than physical greater than physical um, occurrences in your life don't ignore them don't be afraid of them they're not to be wow that was crazy um, not for you to fear anything um, it is just the balancing of of energy it's if you want to look at it that way and it really is what it is it's balancing out the scales balancing justice this is a year of the 8 2024 which is a completion and it's a karmic year there they, people are saying that a lot of the people that um, put out the bad energy are getting their karma balancing again it's not a punishment and then those that have put out good in the world and good energies and help people and had good intentions are also getting good karma so it is something that is inevitable it is um, it is a law of the universe um, some people are trying to run from their karma they're trying to manipulate what is fated to happen spirit suggests of course it's always a suggestion because you have free will and I'm never telling you what to do but sometimes what spirit is saying is 
we have to decide whether uh, or not to face our karma because it will be balanced out at some time if it's not in this lifetime it will definitely be in the next or possibly in generations to come and it could be you and another spirit or another um, physical lifetime or it could also what spirit is saying can skip generations and go to your children or grandchildren so you don't want to put your karma or your burdens for the things that you or the sins or say whatever the disobedience that occurred to God because that's really what it's about it's a disobedience of God to God it's disobedience if what you do to other people you're dis you're not disobedient you're not being you're not betraying or you're not hurting that person per se in the grand scheme of things you're actually betraying God so that's a very important point as far as karma and balancing because we really need to understand who we are affecting how what we are trying to control who we are trying to manipulate because a lot of times it might just be the wrong spiritual being it could be an earth angel it could be someone that has higher ranking that has a high ranking that has put out good in the world in this lifetime or possibly past lifetimes or their connection with some of the higher beings or their 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 deeds that have been done again in this lifetime or possibly many many lifetimes so that's what's important about not judging people by their cover by the cover just judging people from the outside because although we think that we can rely on that <clears throat> God knows that person's heart and sometimes those people have been sent as gifts and rewards or tests for you and or for others and and the lesson was um, not learned so there is of course we have a loving and very forgiving God who gives many many chances and uh, <clears throat> so uh, a lot of times when karmic justice or if someone calls uh, judgment on people or judgment is um, is given justice the justice is balancing and that is what spiritual um, our spiritual team and those higher spiritual beings like our archangels um, ancestors and guardian angels and those higher higher vibrational um, messengers are there to deliver the judgment and bring justice to those that have been wronged so again we don't really want to judge it and if you are having to move <clears throat> and deal with difficult situations people places or things at this moment such as family situations or um, work situations or friend situations spirit is saying if it is a karmic balancing of scales then you will recognize it a lot of you do recognize it then there are those that have no clue they are totally like oblivious and do not do not put two and two get two together and they don't understand that what they're putting out if it be it negative um, has and must come back to you or must come back to them to balance the scales especially when people are working in their lower vibration their lower energies their, their lower their south node is what it's called um, where you haven't developed or they haven't developed or learned develop that um, that positive trait or um, tur uh,
or overcome that distortion. So that is the reason why we have so many scenarios and a lot of people are going through multiple scenarios and also at the same time understanding that they're also going through a spiritual awakening and this could feel like a tower it could feel like so much chaos so much it's just overwhelming and um, in past videos I have talked about different ways to strengthen your faith in your Creator and strengthen your faith in God to really know and accept that whatever is happening is always for your highest good and it's always going to put you in a place where you can always have the choice to be better and treat people better and grow in your soul's journey and your soul's purpose so I am going to leave that with you I'm exhausted I'm fizz I'm gonna be sore tomorrow I'm so grateful I'm so grateful that I have the opportunity to spend some time with a friend a dear friend he's going through a lot of things right now and I was glad to just be there uh, I met his wonderful sweetheart of a dog Bella and she is just like, oh my gosh, she is such an angel. Like, the, if there was an angel in a dog, this dog, 16 years old, and she was, she's a Cocker Spaniel, and she's just, it was such a pleasure to meet her. And, um, you know, sometimes you have to go out there and connect with other things to get your mind off of, or take a break from that the things that happen in your spiritual awakening so really listening to your and again my my I, I I hear things and I know I that's how I'm able to get information from from spirit and I really have um, to say that the more you practice it the more you you see the results right of your prayers or you see the results of your good thinking and then the energy that you're putting out there the deeper your faith will become and the more blessings and I've said this before the more blessings will come into your life and we can balance out all those negative negative things that we are able to take accountability for and really change our lives life around and change change how we view our spiritual selves and put that in the forefront of what we want to um, achieve in life and that is becoming aligned with that spiritual body that spiritual nature that exists in all of us and the source being God that is the wellspring that is a source of of that spiritual nature of that nature of that desire to want to be better and to make better choices and to be good to people a lot of people really need to understand that there are some of the negative aspects and even entities and energies that are very very real and may surround you at certain times in your life or you're you become aware of it and some, some of that time is when you are going through a dark night of the soul when you are going through and doing the shadow work taking accountability for what you've put out there as either through words, through deeds, through thoughts, through actions, um, through intentions, through emotions, through fear, all these things that you've put out in the world and affected other people, part of that shadow is sh in, is is very important in your in your healing work and and healing 
from healing your heart, right? You're healing your heart and also healing and making yourself whole again. Taking those parts that have been broken or that has you've sabotaged or someone else sabotaged your uh, your situation. Let me drink some water and I'm really going to um, close this up. Um, anything else, Spirit? And I think this is a message for myself as well. Um, really trying to get into a quiet space, whether it's just sitting lotus style or walking by yourself perhaps or taking that 10, 15, 20 minutes before you go to bed and sit in silence and wait for the signs and the words or the feelings that your creator, God, is so desperately wanting to give you, um, to communicate with you, either through, for some of you, directly for, to, from God, and some of you through the messengers, your spirit guides, your angels, and your ancestors. And so, it can be a very um, uncomfortable time for those that are going through spiritual awakening. What I would um, recommend, and spirit says, Yes, just try to come back to center, try to be calm as information is revealed to you as you go through different emotions because it could go all the way from fear and despair from there all the way up to unconditional blissful joy and love. Um, so you, you might experience a range of, of emotion during this time and know that that is normal and that if you go to God and you do some prayers and you set those intentions and maybe even visualize from, for some of you, that might be a, a very strong suit for some of you out there. And maybe even use your imagination, like picture yourself, you know, a month or two months or three months or one year or two years or five years down the road and see where you want to be. Because again, that is a timeline. You're creating different time, potential timelines. And if you can use that visualization or that projection, right, that projection of where you'd like to see yourself like really by details where you'd like to see yourself that is going to help get you through this difficult time and eventually detach and let go surrender the feelings and the um, emotions and the resentments you have you could possibly have towards people places or things or that situation and really let it go where you are going to be unbothered and you're able to have purity of the heart and all the blessings that are coming to you because you've already created this and you're working, God's working with you and creating the things that are meant for you and putting things in line, in line in the universe for you the right circumstances again everyone's um, purpose is different some overlap some you have multiple reasons lessons karmic um, occurrences that happen in this lifetime from past lifetimes it's it's it could be very overwhelming so Sometimes you just have to lay down and rest and just shut your eyes and if you don't want to call it a meditation 
take that time because again it, it, it the energies are strong they they vacillate between just subtle energy and like big boom thunderstorm type energy so I hope this information helps someone out there um, this was a lot it was uh, again where I wanted to I wanted to um, expand on those that are having some type of um, challenges or feelings about your spiritual awakening and it is very natural and sometimes it takes a little bit more time than others you know don't expect don't expect things in it to happen overnight because most of, most of the time it doesn't yeah most of the time it doesn't happen overnight especially when you're dealing with again things that you once thought were your foundation and in that next moment everything is shattered everything is broken but spirits here to help pick up those pieces to guide you through your your awakening guide you through discerning what messages you are getting and these feelings emotions these um yeah these energies that you're feeling and helping you to transmute to transform those frequencies those energies into something that is going to be positive and loving and abundant and joyful and amazing for your life and what God has in store for you so I'm going to really close this up again if you resonate with anything that I said in this video please like share and subscribe Feel free to put any comments below. Those of you, if you're feeling, um, you know, maybe a little off, if you're feeling, um, you're gonna, you feel excited about the spiritual journey and you're ready to face those challenges, please feel free to comment on below. Um, in the comment section, this can maybe help those that are, that are feeling. A little less grounded or unstable or unsure about what's happening for them so until the next video I hope you have amazing amazing journey and um, I will see you on the next video take care